Mental health hotline 980 reaches one year this month. It was previously the national suicide hotline before advocates lobbied Congress to elevate it to the same level as 911. Well, 2 News Oklahoma's Samson Tamajani takes a look at the impact the service has for Oklahomans in their toughest times. And we do want to warn you that this story mentions the topic of suicide. Anyone who calls or texts the 988 hotline will talk with an Oklahoma-based specialist who can connect them to local resources or a mobile unit to help them. That's according to Bonnie Campo of Oklahoma Department of Mental Health and Substance Abuse Services. I think we're able to help people more immediately. We're also able to pull analytics as it's related to kids. So we're able to say, okay, here are the age groups that are calling in. Do we have repeat callers? And look at that data and be able to drive better outcomes as a result. That data shows surprising results. It reports almost 40,000 calls from Oklahomans in just the first year of 988's existence. State data also shows 300,000 reporting substance abuse, and almost 300 were admitted for urgent care or crisis mental health services. Director of the Oklahoma Call Center, Tony Stelter, says these numbers can be a good thing. I think what this says is that, you know, mental health is an issue in Oklahoma, and I think the state's doing a great now, though, um, destigmatizing that, right? It's okay to reach out. It's okay to ask for help before, um, you know, it's too late. Campo says thankfully 90% of cases are resolved over the phone. And one nonprofit based in Tulsa that's handled cases over the phone since before the 988 era is Family and Children's Services. Programs Director Amanda Bradley says even though their COPES hotline is slightly different, their services intertwine with 988 for helping those at times of personal uncertainty while ending stigma surrounding mental health. If a call goes into 988 and it's someone within Tulsa County or one of our close counties around us, uh, 988 can actually dispatch us for a mobile response. So it would be a COPES mobile team. So really reaching a number of different groups is so critically important because you never know whoever needs that help and where they're going to be. We have a lot of work to do still. Um, I'm not saying we're perfect because we're not, but I think we are on the right path. In Tulsa, Samson Tamajani, 2 News, Oklahoma.